to another season of Oz Trucks and the Independent Race Series. Just like to have a chat about what's what's it taken you to get here today to be with us on the grid? Uh, it's taken me a couple of hard weeks in the workshop. Uh, we're based at Yatla, been working most days pretty late. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of man hours and getting the truck and trailer out here and getting everything everything all ready for the weekend. So it probably all starts back when I started racing go-karts at the age of 13. I moved on to State Series Formula Ford, that was back in 2007. I then had a little bit of a break and I took up a little bit of racing in uh, 2011 uh, with Miles Racing. I was doing pit crew for their V8 Supercar Development Series team. So that's basically how I got into Oz Trucks and I raced the meeting at Morgan Park last year in Lakeside and this is the first meeting for this year that we've run. Oh, I'd just like to thank Miles Racing and uh, Wayne and Di who are the owners and yeah, I race. An Oz truck is something that's underbraked but overtired. They've got quite a lot of horsepower, four speed dog box, just over 1200 kilos with a driver in it. So power to weight's very good. It's very similar to the supercar as you've just seen in that last race out there with Bolger. The cross weight's actually come up 50-50. So yeah, it's surprising. You would think it's a lot different, but it actually comes up perfect on the scales. You've got a lot more left-hand side weight than right, but that's a given that we're sitting on the left. Uh, Oz trucks are very forgiving, as in you can have a lock up or you can overshoot the corner or little things like this. Put it places that you can't normally put a car because of the big Goodyear tyre, uh, which is a great thing, I think. Um, pretty much, uh, if you're fit enough and you enjoy racing, you can drive one of these things. So you don't have to be out the front all the time, but yeah, pretty much we all come out here and we have an enjoyable time. There's a lot of guys in their 40s and stuff like that who come out here in this event and they all just come out here and have a blast. Pretty much you're putting the fastest car at the rear of the grid and seeing if they can come through and win it. And they position it so that there's enough time in that 8, 10 lap, 15 lap race that you can catch, the last guy can catch the guy who's in front at the start of the race. It has its ups and downs, but it's probably got a lot more positives and negatives, I think. Uh, I did the handicap last year at Morgan Park, and Chaz Mostert and I, we were off the rear. Uh, so it was, it was something different. You know, you're sitting there on the grid and you're watching all these cars go out at Morgan Park. We started actually on the grid, and by the last time the last car was coming around, it was nearly coming to meet us on the grid. So we had a lap to catch up in like an eight lap race. You push for time, you have to go as fast as you can and get, it, get past it car in front as fast as you can. You can't muck around and wait for a corner or two if you're coming up on it. You have to go up the inside, around the outside, or you know, the closing laps, you can, you can start to see the car in front. You don't, know, I don't always know who's in front because sometimes the guy who started mid-pack might be in front or a guy who started a few cars in front of you might be in front. So once you can see who's in front, yeah, I think you just start trying you're even more determined because you can see it. Once you can see something, you know you can go get it. And um, yeah, you just keep pressing harder and hopefully it all unfolds and you have a win or get close to it anyway. You just have to stay calm and collected and realise you've got a job to do. Don't try and push it too hard or you, uh, you won't get there. But if you realise that you're getting your time out of them every time and you don't make mistakes, there's a good chance you'll be up there. Like at Morgan Park, it did work perfect. I know I passed the last car on the last corner and Chaz passed the last car on the straight. So you would have to say that it worked quite perfect. So we'll see how it works out this weekend. <laughs>